Autumn leaves are slowly fading, but that's not stopping tourists here in the nation from crowding to scenic spots. One such landmark is a new hanging bridge in Chungcheongbuk-do province, attracting tens of thousands of visitors every week. Han Sung will drop by to file this report. Surrounded by the woods of Waraksa National Park in Chungcheongbuk-do province lies the Oksumbong Peak Hanging Bridge, where people have been relishing the thrill of hanging by a thread since late October. Built without supports to make it shake even more, the 222-meter-long bridge hangs over the majestic Cheongpung Lake, its waters flowing several meters below my feet. The city of Chechen hopes the 7.2 million U.S. dollar project can bring more and more curious tourists to the area as the nation gradually shifts back to pre-pandemic life after nearly two years of antivirus restrictions. COVID forced everyone indoors for so long, but now that we're finally living with the virus, I decided to check the new bridge out with my nephews during our trip to Chechen. About six to 7,000 people came daily during weekdays when the bridge first opened. The weekends attracted 16 to 18,000. Nowadays, the number is around 13,000 a day on the weekends and about 3 to 4,000 during the week. But for those living in the area, the bridge is much more than simply a new landmark. It's a symbolic reunion for Kwegongni villagers who remember when the construction of the Chungju Dam nearly 40 years ago submerged the old land road to the other side of town, once forcing them to sail across or drive several kilometers around Cheongpung Lake. Before the bridge was made, it was quite a hassle to visit our neighbors on the other side. We're so happy now that we can more closely communicate with them. For now, visits to the bridge are free of charge, but starting in April, there will be an entrance fee of two and a half dollars, which Chechen City will be using to revitalize the local economy. Han Sung-woo, Arirang News, Chechen.